from Center 76 in Athens. It is game one in the best of seven. Rito Division Final, or Rito St. Lawrence Semifinals. Here in Athens this evening, it's the Gananoque Islanders on our left in the black sweaters and the Athens Arrows in their white unis on our right. Neil McHugh proud to bring a game one in this best of seven Rito Division Final. Both the Islanders and the Arrows coming off seven game victories for the Islanders in a great series with the Westport Ritos and for the Athens Arrows, the Brockville Tikis gave them everything they could handle, but the Arrows resilient as they have been this year in a course to secure home ice. They had to come back in the final weekend of the season in the third period to defeat the Westport Ritos and then beat them again. The play is underway. Here is number 72, Chris Smith. Smith, one of the first team All-Stars and lots of speed in over the Earl's blue line. His shot deflects off Empey over into the corner. They battle there, picked up by Barry for the Arrows, and away comes number 19, Pat Cameron. Rolls off Cameron's stick. They go up for John Harris, just outside the Arrow blue line. There's our first shot of the hockey game. The starting goaltender for the Arrows will be Eric Mixick, and for the Islanders, goaltender Ryan Kazuba. Still played along the boards, kept it, fired back in by Stewart. Back to get it for the Islanders is Taylor Kyle. Yeah, this pass goes astray, and we have our first stoppage of the hockey game early. The Arrows in the Islanders, and what can more can be said about the Junior B playoffs? The sense of community, and usually the packed houses to boot, and to no exception here this evening in Athens. So the puck now bounces his way all the way back into the arrow zone. Ringing it along the boards, number 23, Alex McLean, but not out. There's a shot, it's right underneath Mixick. He decides just to sit down. Just lost his bearings on that one, but some lovely and lively dasher boards here at center, 76. The early moments flipped up ahead. Now gathering says Pete, here's Lacroix, he crosses center, he bounces one into Kazuba sees his first shot of the hockey game. Lacroix goes in, knocked down by Briar Hill along with Wyatt Cota inside the line. There's a shot right on, and Kazuba steers that into the corner. Another shot, that goes wide. Back to the point to Cameron Stewart. His shot deflected by Lacroix. That goes wide. Finally poked out to center, hustling for the Islanders, Brock Jessup. The number three, Cameron Stewart, back there for the arrows. Here's Lacroix zigzagging in the neutral zone, intercepted. And the Islanders fired down the ice. Icing waved off. Hustling in there, Phil Smith. Errol Smith. Bill Smith. Dug out. Kept in at the point. Now stepping in. There's a shot. And it didn't get through by number eight, Taylor Kyle. Another first team All Star. And there's another shot. And that goes up and out of play. So on the Rito Division first All Star team, Taylor Kyle, one of the two defensemen, along with Chris Smith. And Wyatt Coda here are the Islanders. The Arrows placed Danielle Lacroix on that first team all star. There's a shot from the point, and it deflects just over the head of Mitzik. On the shot by the Islanders, number 17, Daniel Monk. Islanders took it down into the Arrow zone. Gathered in by number 17, Darius Gibson. And away comes Empey. Empey flips it in off the boards. Now hustling in is Moulton. Moulton puts it right out in front. Over for the Arrows to pick it up, Drew Powell. Powell out in front of the net to Levesque. His backhand goes wide. Now Gibson comes in, flattens his man. Now scooped up by number eight, Taylor Kyle. And a puck rolls out to center. Played off the boards. Rolling back in the Gananoque zone. There's Moulton. Moulton bumping Cole Langfield. They all come together at the Arrows bench. The scrum ensues and the puck comes all the way back to the Islanders number three Lucas Stitt it's a high stick waved off there and the air put it bound and that ends up up and out of play 16.35 to go in the opening period the Islanders and the arrows are scoreless
Game two in this best of seven series goes Wednesday night in Athens. Game time is 8-15. Back to the point. Liam Winterfield, shots goes in behind. Coming in for the Earl, J.P. Augustine tries to go short side on Kazuba. Now there's Cameron. The club get out in front again. And finally scooped up by number 71 of the Islanders, Dylan Black. Stewart back in his own end for the Earls. He fires it off the boards, but that's going down the ice, and it's going to result in another icing. In the St. Lawrence Division Final, it features the Aquasasne Wolves, who finished third in the St. Lawrence over the season. And they're playing the number one team, the Castleman Vikings. They're getting at it tonight as well. So the face off of come to the right of Mixick. Tyler Murray taking a draw. That buckle roll right to his doorstep. And Mixick takes no chances and holds on. Well, he's Murray got Harris on his right, Chris Smith on his left. Now here's Murray wheeling, putting it in deep. Back for the arrows to get a number 23, Alex McLean. Get it up ahead, but not out. John Harris wheeled around his shot. It was blocked. Still in the zone. Now Tyler Murray puts it behind the net, picked up by the arrow, number two. Widowfield turned over right on front of the other shot, and it rolls right across the goal crease as Harris was wide open. Just a little off balance to take that loose puck. Here's Chris Smith back in his own zone for the Islanders. Up the middle, Harris deflects that, picked up. Now it's Pat Cameron. Cameron flipped over to Michael Byrne. Here's Byrne. Gets away from him and now leading the rush for the Islanders. And away goes the, the stick on that one a mile a minute there as Taylor Kyle tried to join the rush. Here comes Michael Byrne all alone inside the Gananoque zone. The Islanders put that back in the neutral zone. And now here is McKenney. McKenney coming around the corner. Here's McKenney. Tries to go short side on Kazuba, but he holds on. 15 02 to go here in the opening period. We are still scoreless. So McKenney to take the face off against Wyatt Coda. Hook rolls back to number 21. Nathan Keller. Keller wearing 21 as opposed to his normal 11. The Islanders get their first. Craig administers a hit. Now coming around the perimeter and getting the shot right on. And Mixick makes the save. And the Islanders number 22, Brock Jessup, as Jessup curled around. And got the shot away. So McKenney to take the face off against the Rito St. Lawrence scoring champion, Wyatt Coda. Back to the point. There's a shot and a left pad saved by Mixick. Here's Wyatt Coda putting it into the vacated corner. And now it's chipped up and out the center. Here's Wyatt Coda trying to put the Ray back in, but right on the stick of Briar Hill and a blocker saved by Mixick. Back to Hiley. Hiley flips it into the center. Intercepted. And then Briar Hill once again puts it back into the arrow zone. Here's Wyatt Cota battling there. Now coming off is Brock Jessup. So that Jessup and Empey draped in against the boards. McKinney plays it along back to the point. Lex to get it in deep again. In behind the net is Gibson. He rings it around the boards for McKinney as Lacroix streaks through the middle. Puck goes to an errant spot. Fired in by number 21. Nathan Keller. Here's Daniel Lacroix. Gets around one Islander, but not the other. And backhanded back in by Brett Aerosmith. Now the lead pass intended for Lacroix. And it's just past his reach. But Lacroix down, hustling to pick it up. Gets it right back to the point, but unable to keep it in. Number 23, Alex McLean. McLean gets away from Aerosmith. Flipped in. It goes off. Molten stick. Now the high stick is waved off. Broken up at the line, and here's Liam Whittefield. Whittefield fails to get it in deep. And here come the Islanders again. Ridgely, Ridgely dropping it. There's a shot. Now Ridgely gets another one away. It's Ridgely and Phil Smith. Arrows countering at the line. Here's Levesque. Levesque as the arrows are on a line change. Play up the middle. The stretch pass from Moulton. Intercepted. And now here's Mark Craig. Craig carrying it inside the Islanders zone. Trying to get around number 15, Graham Moore. 
And back to number three of the Islanders, Lucas Stitt. Intercepts it, a shot, a score! A costly turnover by the Islanders. Turns into the opening goal of the hockey game. It's 1-0 Arrows. to be Drew Powell that gets one through Kazuba will await the official scoring but it occurs at 7-17 in the opening period the arrows draw first blood here on Olmites in game one bouncing around drop back there's a shot short side by Black plagued along the wall chipped out of harm's way by Curtis Gohane now picking it up for the arrows number 14 Greg Harding now backhanded indeed by J.P. Augenstein. Augenstein. Taylor Kyle back there to get it. Played along the boards. Fired in. It goes off Kasuba's glove. There's a shot at Kazuba. So 7-17 of the opening period. Drew Powell. Gets the goal unassisted on a huge miscue by the Islanders in their own end. And certainly playoff hockey have got to make teams pay on that in the arrows. Fortuitous, and there's another shot by Byrne that barely missed high glove side. Back to the point. He just squirts out. Well, it was Murray and Empey engaged there. Play up the middle. And back can the Islanders. Here's Chris Smith inside the line. His shot right on. Blocker saved by Mixick. John Harris puts it in. It's Tyler Murray. Chris Smith and John Harris. Puck gets away from Barry, but it rolled out, and now they blow it down. 11-19 to go in the opening period of this Rito Division final. It's the Gat Athens Arrows 1, the Gananoque Islanders. No score. Drew Powell unassisted at 7 17. Off the face off here is the speedy Chris Smith gathering some speed inside the blue line shot right on and forces Mixick to make the save and he deflects that up and out of play. So game two Wednesday night in Gananoque. Game time is 8 15 and then Friday evening game three back here at center 76. The season series of note, eight games between the two teams, and it was the Islanders with a 6-2 advantage, including winning the last five. Here's Lacroix putting it ahead for McKinney. It goes for Graham Moore. Back to the point, Harris intercepted by Whittefield. Whittefield goes into the corner. Now McKinney behind Lacroix pokes it to Whittefield. That's Whittefield. Back to the point, kept in by Hiley. Into the corner, Lacroix couldn't reach it, and then it comes to the Speedy Smith. Here's Smith. Hiley knocked it off his stick, gets away with a little interference there. Now it's flipped up for Daniel Lacroix. It's McKenny Lacroix at the Islander blue line. Long shot, Kazuba misplayed that, makes the pad safe, however. Down deep, it's Kyle and McKenny. Back to the point, Craig keeps it in, his shot. Kazuba puts out the glove. It goes off his glove over into the corner. Here's Craig on the backhand. Loops it in deep. Back to the point. There's a shot right on by the Arrows. Number three, Cameron Stewart. But Kazuba makes the save and holds on. Well, the face-off will come to the right of Kasuba. And there's the shot by Cameron Stewart. That goes off an Islander stick. Up and out of play. So he'll do it all over again. Levesque for the arrows. He wins the draw cleanly. And it just gets out. Stewart just chips that one into the Islander bench.
So the face off will come outside the Islander blue line. Wyatt Cole and Levesque. Levesque won yet another draw because Subin stops it there. Played up for number 22, Brock Jessup. Now it's Wyatt Cota. Wyatt Cota putting it inside the arrow zone. Arrows get it up to Moulton. Moulton ahead for Powell, our goal scorer. We have Moulton, they're coming in there. They get a shot away, and that's high. Blocker save and wide by Craig. Picked up by Wyatt Cota. Here's Cota just chipping it out to center. Craig. Knocks it down, gets it in deep after taking a bump from Jessup, and here's Taylor Kyle. Kyle reverses the flow. Up and headed for Jessup. He couldn't get it. Empey flips the right back into the arrow zone. Now Moulton going in against Kyle. Played up for Jessup. It's Empey to Levesque, and that's blown down. 8.56 to go in the opening period. It's the Athens Arrows 1. The Gananoque Islanders no score. An unassisted goal by Drew Powell. So linesman Hitchin drops the puck. Phil Smith, Ridley out there. Here they come. It's over for Ridley. Rolls off his stick. Now coming up at it. And firing it wide was Phil Smith. Well, Darius Gibson gets away from Empey. And onto the stick of the arrows, number 14, Greg Harding. Kazuba, no problem there. Play in the corner. Back to the point. Here's Whittlefield. Whittlefield's shot is blocked, but he picks up the loose puck. As Brian Ridgely had some ideas. Back in the Islander zone. Islanders bring it up. Fire into the stretch pass. Up intended for Phil Smith. And offside. Errol Smith at the Errol's blue line. So Drew Powell couldn't believe his eyes. Uh, just standing out in the middle of the slot. And the puck came right to him. And the shot went through Kazuba to put the Errol's on the board here. Unassisted at 7-17 over this Opening period of the 2013 Rito St. Lawrence semifinal. Or Rito final, whatever you want to call it. Whittafield. Cross ice to Barry. Barry gets it in deep. Back for the Islanders. River Hot. Up the pin out. John Harris. Harris along with Keller. And another shot. It's good! Well, Mixick makes the original save and tries desperately to get the, the two pad legs. Sliding save over, but the goal scores goal. The Islanders put it upstairs and have tied this hockey game with 7.34 to go in the opening period. Yeah, we're right back to square one. Bounces in on the rebounds there. Kazuba just couldn't find the handle. Here's a shot by Barry. Weak and wide. River Hat plays it along the boards. Stewart keeps it in with the arrows. Behind the net, here's Cameron. Cameron couldn't get it out front. He had Barry there. So the scoring play, it is Murray from Smith and Harris at 12-26 here in the opening period. So Tyler Murray for the Islanders and Drew Powell for the Arrows. That's where we sit with 6.55 to go in the opening period. Bring the puck up the center effectively is Mark Craig. He gets it in deep. Now Daniel Lacroix, McKenney in behind Kazuba. 
Dug out by Briar Hill. Briar Hill backhands it up the middle. Now going to get it for the Islanders. Brock Jessup. Jessup beats Craig to the puck. Back to the point to Taylor Kyle. Kyle puts it in for Brock Jessup. Go out in front of the net. And away comes the Arrows. Here's Hiley in over the Arrows blue line. A nice drop pass to Craig. And a shot goes just wide on Kazuba. Back come the Islanders countering. It go, rolls off of Briar Hill. Arrows fired along the board. And here is Lacroix. Lacroix making a nice move there. Feathers one up to Hiley inside the Islander blue line. His shot. It goes off Kazuba and up over the net. Flip back to Lacroix. Here's Lacroix back to the point to Whittafield. Whittafield winding up. His shot is blocked at the line. The puck now squirts out and gobbled up by number 12 of the Islanders. Cole Langfield turned over. Here's Lacroix all by his lonesome inside the Islanders' zone. And they lose it. And away come the Islanders. Fired in deep by Phil Smith. Hustling in to get it. Is Dylan Black. Black battling against Empey behind the boards. Puck comes to the sidewall. Scooped up by the arrows, number 21. Drew Powell. Chipped in at just inside the Islander line. They get, they get it just out. And now backhanding it in deep is Colin Brown. Arrows counter. Fire right, right back in again. And the Islanders tag up. But away come the arrows. Putting it in deep is Stewart. Back to get it for the Islanders. Number 15, Graham Moore. Moore back there with Lucas Stitt. They're in behind Kazuba. Intercepted. Puck ends up over into the corner. Levesque. Against Errol Smith. Back to the point. Levesque puts it back in deep again for the Arrows. At the line. It gets away from Craig. Stewart just beat Errol Smith. And Phil Smith for the puck. In behind the net. Here's Lucas Stitt. Intercepted. Here's Craig now. Craig looks to go down low into the corner. Puck comes back to the point. Here's Craig using some good composure there. The better winding up and it's shot. Deflects off Aerosmith. Up and out of play. 4-18 to go in the opening period. The Arrows and the Islanders tied at one in game one here from center 76. So off the face off, now the Islanders fire it all the way down the ice, and that's going to result in yet another icing. The Islanders once again winning six of the eight regular season games, but of course it's postseason. That's all out the window. Off the face off was Wyatt Cota. Against the Arrows, Pat Cameron. Now here's a race for the puck. Getting there first. His backhand is right on. It was Phil Smith. But Mixick makes the save and holds on. So Cameron to take the face off against Tyler Murray, the Islanders' goal scorer. Stewart rings it around the boards. Kipped in. Whittefield makes a nice maneuver there. Barry and Whittefield battling. And the Islanders come up. Here's Tyler Murray. He's got John Harris alone right in front of another. There's Harris. They shot. Oh, what a save by Mixick on Harris. So there is the save of the game thus far. Good job by the Islanders' goal scorer, Tyler Murray, to shovel that to Harris. Who is all alone? But making the play, you got to make the plays, and Eric Mixick certainly makes one there. So here's Tyler Murray to take the face off against McKenney. Off the face off, Chris Smith there is the backhand by Harris White. Here's Smith, and his shot, and Mixick traveling well from left to right, shuts the door. Game two, Wednesday night in Gananoque. Game time is 8.15. Back here Friday night for game three. Puck fired up 
to center. Lacroix just couldn't reach it against Taylor Kyle. Here's Whittafield weaving his way at the island. The blue line. Here's Lacroix, and he's letting go. Lacroix, five hole on Kazuma. The Arrows regain their one goal lead. They lead it two to one. Just the wrong guy to give the puck to in a prime scoring position and making no mistake, Daniel Lacroix. So backhanded by Byrne, there goes Cameron into it. Cameron can't reach it, Islanders flip it at the center. So both some serious turnovers and the Arrows have made the Islanders pay both Arrows goals unassisted. Drew Powell and Daniel Lacroix. Back to the point, here's Barry just putting one in. And some nice athleticism there by Byrne, but deflects that high pass just wide. Now back in his own zone is Nathan Keller along the boards, intended for Brock Jessup. And now fired right back in again by Craig. Keller knocked down his man. Islanders flip it out of harm's way back into the arrow zone. And it's scooped up by Craig. Now here's Craig. Pass right on the tape. To number 21, Drew Powell. And the Islanders break that up and fire it back into the arrow zone. There it's empty. Empty off the boards. Knocked down by Colin Brown. Played out in front. It goes short side. Right there is Cole Langfield. Arrows bring it out. Bucks now the race for the puck between Graham Moore. And the arrows drew Powell. Now here's Levesque with an opportunity. And this time Kazuba, well positioned to not only make the save, but holds on to the rebound. But another glorious wide open opportunity for the arrows in the Islanders' zone. So the face off. Kick to Hiley. Hiley shot deflects over into the corner. Behind the net, Taylor Kyle. Kyle bumping with McKenney. They cycle it back to McKenney in behind Kazuba. Here's McKenney. There's a shot, high rising shot over the head of Kazuba. Now Darius Gibson turns around. The arrows tag up. McKenney up high. Bounces over the Islander stick inside the line. Once again, it comes right out into the slot. And backhanded by Brian Ridgely all the way down the ice. And that'll be another stoppage. 106 to go in the first. The Arrows two. The Islanders one. Game one. In the best of seven. Rito St. Lawrence semifinals here from center 76. Drew Powell and Daniel Lacroix for the Arrows. Tyler Murray has replied for the Islanders. There's Cameron on the faceoff. He wins it, but scooped up by Taylor Kyle in behind Kazuba. Now under a minute to go in the opening period. The Arrows once again will have to tag up. Game two back in Gananoque on Wednesday in the middle. Rolls off the stick at Chris Smith. Fired back to Tyler Murray in his own zone. He feathers one up for Smith, but it goes right to Cameron. Cross ice to Byrne. Byrne elects just to put it in deep. Back to get it to number 15. Graham Moore for the Islanders. Gets it to center. Stewart flips it right back in. And we'll start that one all over again. Now going behind the net. Cameron, a nice play by Cameron to get out in front of the net to Barry. They scrum away at it there. It's in Byrne's feet, but the big lanky John Harris had it. Lost it. Whittafield. And Tyler Murray into the corner. Here's Tyler Murray. Murray plays it off the boards. It's an Islander hop. They get it out of the zone. But one second, and that is going to do it. Eric Mixick reaches up as the buzzer goes. 
So 20 minutes in the books here at center 76 in game one. And it's the Arrows two, the Islanders one. We'll be back for second period action. Well, we are back here at center 76 for second period action. The puck drop, here's Chris Smith. No one line with got John Harris and Tyler Murray. Taylor Kyle back in his own end for the Islanders. A stretch pass up to Smith. Smith in motion. In over the Islander blue line trying to get around Mur get around Barry. Had Murray out in front of the net. Back to the point. Kipped in by Daniel Monk. Battling there. Gets away from Cameron. There's a shot by Monk. That deflects. Overlap the birds and Michael Byrne just flips it out to center. Taylor Kyle. No defensive teammate. Daniel Monk takes a Lively bounce and right back to Monk up to Tyler Murray. Murray crosses into the arrow zone. There, Murray shot right on the rebound. I mix stick that goes into the corner. And here's Barry taking a whack at it. And it goes down to the Islanders number 15, Graham Moore. He'll stop behind Kazuba. Moore's playing on the boards, deflected by Coda. He's battling with Whittafield. Whittafield comes up with it. Cross ice just inside the line, getting a shot away was McKinney that didn't get through once again it's LaCroix battling there with Graham Moore puck sent back all the way into the arrow zone Chris Smith hustling back there against Stewart down goes Smith Stewart plays it on the board for Whittefield Whittefield the stretch up to McKinney broken up by Moore here's Moore inside the arrows line trying to get around Whittefield there comes McKinney he goes in behind Mystic chipped over into the corner highly he sidesteps the Oncoming Islander there. Here's McKenney knocks down Coda, picked up by Whittefield. Whittefield flips it up, kept in the zone by Moore. Now it finally comes out. So the Islanders tag up, and the arrows fire down the length of the ice. That's going to result in an icing. 18-01. We're in the early moments of period number two. It's the arrows leading the Islanders by a score of two to one. That first period summary, Drew Powell unassisted at 7-17. Tyler Murray, his fourth goal of the playoffs, is 11th point. Smith and Harris, Harris is 12th point. Draw assists, we were even at one. But then Daniel Kwa, the Arrows, restored that one goal lead. His fourth, his 10th point, unassisted at 16-33. The Arrows outshot the Islanders 18-16 in that opening 20. Buck bounces away from Kazuba. Taylor Kyle, now it's back to the point. And the Islanders spring away. Coming down the side, here's Phil Smith. And getting a piece of it was Mixick. Arrows, once again, fire down the length of the ice. And once again, it results in another icing. So it's game one of the best of seven. Rito St. Lawrence semifinals, or Rito final here from Center 76, game two, goes in Gananoque Wednesday night at 8.15, and we're back here at Center 76 Friday night. Game time is 7.30. Off the faceoff, Murray wins it. Back to Daniel Monk. Here's Daniel Monk to Chris Smith. Smith was in a good opportunity there, rolled off his stick. Here's Darius Gibson backhanding it, but not out. Gobbled up by Kyle shot. And once again, fired up, up against the glass. Chris Smith digs it out. Here's Terrell Kyle. Wicked shot, and Mixick made the save on that rocket. Back it comes, all the way back in the arrow zone. Number 17, Daniel Monk. And his pass goes astray. Uh, lines from McCarthy waves that up. Mixick stopped it there. Monk beat his man to the puck. Here's Michael Byrne. Byrne just fires it. Inside the line, here comes Monk. Now Monk's going to get the shot away. And getting the glove up there was Mixick. Michael Byrne backhands it out of harm's way. Taylor Kyle back to get it in his own zone. The early moments of period number two. And it's the Arrows leading the Islanders by a score of 2-1. to one. Elsewhere in the Rito... St. Lawrence, the St. Lawrence final goes tonight in Castleman, the Vikings against the Aquasasne Hawks. Back to the point, here's Stewart's shot, Kazuba. 
Deflects that over into the corner. But picked off by Briar Hill. Hill getting it ahead to Brock Jessup. His shot and Mixick reaches up and holds on. So the Rito Division uh, playoff scoring after one round. Chris Smith, number 72 here. The Islanders leads. Well, he's actually tied with Westport's Cameron McNutt. Both have 13 points. And it's John Harris. Here's Daniel Lacroix inside the line. Knock, knocked down by the Islanders' Lucas Stitt. And it's going to be a penalty. So the Athens Arrows are going to head to the power play, leading this one by a score of 2-1. to one. As Stitt got up a little high on Lacroix just inside the Islander blue line. So the Islanders we'll get the PK unit out. Tyler Murray, Brock Jessup, Cameron wins the draw. Craig to Lacroix. Here's Lacroix up the half boards. Being watched by Tyler Murray back to Empey. Now Empey's shot goes off. Murray up against the glass. Picked up by Jessup. Now Jessup. Doing a good job of penalty killing here, just ragging some more time, and now fires it down into the arrow zone. Here's Craig, right up the middle of Lacroix. Lacroix, only in over the line, he's got Moulton and Cameron. Here's Lacroix, trying to get him around Murray. Lacroix still battling. Now Cameron to Lacroix. Back to Craig, to Lacroix. Cross ice, coming in the back door was empty. And away comes a speedy Smith, short-handed. Here comes Smith inside the blue line. He shot right on. And Mexic makes the save, short-handed on the speedy Chris Smith. One oh nine remains in the Islander penalty. Face-off would come to the left of Mixick. It'll be Harris, Chris Smith. Smith won the draw, Taylor Kyle's shot goes wide. Highly plays it back to Whittefield. They'll try and set this power play up. Whittefield to Stewart. Cross ice, here's Highly inside the Islander zone, making a nifty move there. Curling over to Stewart. Stewart going right on it, Kazuba got a piece of that. Bounces back to the point, and now a foot race between Chris Smith and Whittefield, but a nice job by Whittefield. To McKenney. Here's McKenney inside the line, winding up. Shot scores! Just pure heat beating Kazuba. Low blocker side, the arrows. It's a power play goal. They lead it three to one. Just a well-placed shot by McKenney, letting that blistering shot go inside the blue line. A perfect shot by McKenney. It's a power play goal for the Arrows. They lead it three to one. It's in front of the net. Back come the Arrows. Craig, fires it back in. So it'll puck back in the arrow zone. Puck rolls back in. Nathan Keller's shot goes out of play. It's McKenney is fifth. The power play goal by the arrows from Moulton. It's Stewart at 525.
So Levesque to take the fix off against Phil Smith. Kept in by Empey. The Arrows have it down low. Back to the point to Empey. His shot it doesn't get through. Fired on by Phil Smith. Comes right back into the Islander zone to Lucas Stitt. Stitt gives it away. And the Islanders, two costly turnovers in the opening period. And the Arrows made them pay for both. Unassisted goals by Drew Powell and Daniel Lacroix. Moulton chips it ahead. Lucas did it. Deflects off him. Back to Graham Moore. He gives it to Levesque. Levesque in the middle. For Powell. And away comes Aerosmith. Winding up his shot. And Mexic. No problem as he snares that. McKenney is fifth goal, a power play goal, and seventh point of the 2012-13 playoffs. Arrows flip it out for Barry. Knocked off his stick. Briar Hill fires that off Whittafield, and it comes right to the crease of Eric Mixick. 12.38 to go here in the second period of game one in the best of seven Rito St. Lawrence semifinals. The Arrows three, the Islanders one. Here from center 76, game two goes Wednesday in Gananoquim back here at center 76. Friday, game time, 7.30. Here's Burn for Barry. Off his stick, Taylor Kyle. It hits Cameron. Now Burn was going to race inside the zone, take it off his stick. Here's Briar Hill. Hill inside the arrows line. Try to get, a, get away from McClay and Wyatt Cota. Tied up by Whittefield. Hill now, but Whittefield comes up with a puck. Whittefield carrying it out effectively. And here's Barry backhanded in behind Kazuba. Cameron backhands it back for Barry. Intercepted by Taylor Kyle. The first team all star. But the flex off Hill. Cameron and Barry. Some good pressure here. Now Cameron going behind the net. Here's Pat Cameron. Cameron cycling it back through Michael Byrne. Byrne in behind Kazuba. Here's Byrne. Backhands that try to get it out in front of the net. Wheeling was Cameron. Just trying to create some space. Cameron working his way in front of the net. What a save by Kazuba there on Cameron. And it squirts loose. Gobbled up by the Islander 22. Brock Jessup pinned in against the boards by Whittefield. Trying to dig that out. Now John Harris comes in against Mark Craig. We scrum away. Craig comes up with it. The outlet for Daniel Lacroix. Lacroix off the boards to McKinney. He was just giving the Arrows that two-goal cushion. And the Arrows fired back into the Islander zone. And that will result in an icing. 11-01 to go in the second. The Arrows three. The Islanders one. Off the faceoff, one by McKinney. Here's Lacroix. Harris draped all over him. Scooped up by Cameron Stewart. He was knocked down. Here comes a wave of Islanders inside the line. Here's Harris. Shot right on. A nice save by Mixick with that left pad. Harris's shot was labeled. Now back comes Lacroix. Puck fired back into the arrow zone. Coming up, Stewart Long shot into the logo. Of Kazuba, and he holds on. So Jesse Valdrin and uh, Jason Ayer still out of the Arrows lineup. No Jonathan Smith. No Craig Cross for the Islanders this evening. Off the faceoff, it goes to Mark Craig. Fires it in. Kazuba makes the save. Drops it for Daniel Monk. Here's Monk. Gets away from one. Gets it onto the stick of Chris Smith. Here's Smith in over the Arrows blue line. Here's Smith trying to work his way in front. It rolls right on the doorstep of Mixick. They bang away at it. Now the puck goes in behind the net. Stewart battling with the two Islanders there. Smith and Harris. He comes out. Lacroix gets it out to center. Tyler Murray. 
Takes the puck off him, and here's McKinney at the Islander blue line, just waiting for the troops. And away comes Chris Smith of the Islanders. Flying down the left side into the corner. Shot from a sharp angle. That's wide. Taylor Kyle over there to keep it in for the Islanders. His shot goes off Tyler Murray. Backhands it out in front. But Lacroix puts it over in the corner. Now spinning around Tyler Murray. Murray going to get around Gibson. The shot right on. And Mixick reaches out and holds on. So the only goal here in the second period so far, a power play goal from by McKenney, his fifth, his seventh point, Moulton, and Stewart draw assists at 5-25. Arrows flip it up to center, and here's a stretch pass there, racing down the left side, Curtis Cohane. Cohane got Augenstein out in front of the net, but the Islanders counter. Back comes number 12, Cole Langfield. Langfield trying to drop her Colin Brown. They go in behind Mixick, scooped up by Greg Harding, just beyond the reach of J.P. Augenstein. And back to Darius Gibson. Gibson gets away from Brown, scooped up, and inside the line comes Harding. Harding shot goes right out in front of the net. And back to the arrows, Alex McLean chipped in. Turning around, firing it back into the zone. Back to get it for the Islanders. Chipped ahead. Here comes Colin Brown inside the arrow zone. It goes off. Mick six glove and out of play. 8.41 to go here in the second. It's the arrows three. The Islanders one. Goals by Powell, Lacroix, and McKenney. Tyler Murray has replied for the Islanders who won six of eight during the regular season. Back to the point. Chipped in, knocked down by Whittefield. Whitfield being chased by Brian Ridley. Scooped by Wyatt Cota, gets away and comes all the way back where it's Phil Smith. Cross ice for River Hot. Moulton there along with Drew Powell. Now Whittefield backs it right back into the Islander zone and Kazuba reaches out and holds on. Now we get a little pushing and shoving after the play. It appears the referee's not going to take any chances. Off goes the Islanders' Brian Ridgely and the Arrows' number 10, Emerson Moulton. So the faceoff, it come to the left of Kazuba. Cameron wins the draw. Byrne puts it in deep, but Wyatt Coda. Coda, the league scoring champion, ahead to Briar Hill. He'll bounce it off the boards for Brock Jessup. Jessup, and the puck comes right out, and Mixick will take no chances. And holds on. So game two, Wednesday night in Gananoque, and game three back here at center 76 on Friday. March the 8th, game time is 7.30. Wyatt Cota wins the draw cleanly. Here's Hill's shot. It goes wide. Now Taylor Kyle, but Michael Byrne. Byrne now finally gets it out. Taylor Kyle up the middle, right on the tape. Inside the zone comes Hill, and his shot deflects off the stick of Michael Byrne and up and out of play. 7.49 to go here in the second. 3-1, Arrows. Coda wins the draw cleanly. Here's Hill. And broken up, and McLean gives it to Byrne. He's got Barry on his right. It goes in behind Kazuba. Now it's Barry. Barry puts it in behind a Byrne. Byrne goes out in front of the net, back to the point. Kept in by Empey. Empey now shoots off the one leg. It goes wide. Picked up by Daniel Monk. Tries to get it ahead to Briar Hill. Now it squirts out to Byrne. And Byrne fires it right back in. Wyatt Coda had to get his hand up there. And they put it right out in front of the net very dangerously. Wyatt Cota now chips it, and it comes ahead. Here comes Briar Hill inside the Athens line. His shot is wide of Mixick. 
chip back to Taylor Kyle. Over for Daniel Monk. Yeah, picked up by Tyler Murray. Here's he winding up his shot. Goes wide. Cameron chips it to Barry. And it goes to an open wing where it's scooped up by the Islanders. Now Monk back to Kyle as Barry pressures there. Fired up in a neutral zone. That's bouncing all the way back in to the arrow zone. Empey being watched by Tyler Murray. He's the Islander goal scorer. Now Harris gets there. Murray. Now Murray. Backhands it back in. And here are the Islanders again trying to work their way into the middle. That puck's going to go over into the corner from Lucas Stitt. Back to the point. Stitt barely keeps it in. And now it's McKenney. McKenney puts it behind his net to Empey. We're down to 6.15 to go in the second. 3-1 arrows. Here's Lucas Stitt. Gets it away from Lacroix, but Cameron gets it in deep for the arrows. There's Lacroix. Picked up by Chris Smith. Smith backhands it up in the middle. Knocked down by Hiley. Lacroix, Hiley, and McKenney. Puck goes in behind Kazuba. Daniel Monk. Will pick it up for the Islanders. Chips it ahead. Broken up by Whittefield, but away comes Chris Smith. Two of them inside the line. And Smith's shot goes off of Craig. And up and out of play is now McKenney and Monk. Mix things up inside the arrow zone. 5.42 to go in the second. Game one of the best of seven. Rito St. Lawrence semifinals and Rito final. It's arrows up. 3-1. to one. Goals by Powell, Lacroix, and McKenney. Harding taking a face off against Cole Langfield. Lucas Stitt keeps it in. His shot goes off of Greg Harding. Back to Stitt. At the line, hustling over there, Whittefield. Graham Moore got it ahead, but intercepted by the arrows. Chris Cohane uh, ahead for Colin Brown, and he has knocked down. One call in Brown by Mark Craig. Inside the line. Here's Cubs go. Haynes shot, and it's wide of Kazuba. Whittefield gets it in deep. Cohane and Harding battling there. The Islanders come up with a puck. Fired along the boards. Ahead and scooped up by the Islanders. Number 71, Dylan Block. He gets it in deep. The Islanders are going to change things up. Here's Craig trying to catch them. Craig steps in over center. Bounces one into Kazuba. Moore. Ahead to Aerosmith. And away comes Aerosmith down the left side. Here's Aerosmith. They put it out in front of the net, but Augenstein broke that puck up intended for Brian Ridgely. Aerosmith keeps it in, winds up. His shot goes just wide. Fired along the boards by Cameron Stewart. And winning the battle of the puck was Phil Smith. But the Arrows get it out of the zone. Yeah, the Islanders once again firing it in. It's Aerosmith. Craig takes him up in against the boards. Puck comes right back to them. Gets it right out in front of the net. And it rolled off the Islanders' stick there. Away comes Augenstein. That's broken up. Now Levesque breaks that pass up. Fires it right back in the Islanders' zone. The Arrows are going to have to tag up. Long lead pass, Aerosmith. Up for Ridgely. Chipped by Cameron Stewart along the wall for Molt. Molten. There's a shot by Phil Smith that goes wide and back to center to Nathan Keller. Islanders changing things up once more. Here's Molten to Levesque. Knocked off his stick by Jessup. Let the Islanders get it back in the zone. Taylor Kyle up to Briar Hill. Hill along with Coda. Good job of back checking by Levesque. Hill. Now Levesque. Uh, Lex to put it back in his own zone. And number 23, Alex McLean for Emerson Moulton. Wyatt Coda right there. Kyle knocks it down, turns, and fires it back where goaltender Eric Mixick stops it for McLean. To Moulton. Ahead to Drew Powell. Here's Powell. Powell trying to get around Nathan Keller to no avail. They feather one right in front going in behind. Here's Levesque. Levesque back to the point. There's a shot, and where'd it go? It gets tied up in Hill, and a nice play 
by Alex McLean. Dan Moulton trying to get into Briar Hill there, bounced off him, winning that battle. Number 21, Nathan Keller, but the puck still in the arrow zone. Taylor Kyle up the middle, bounces off the stick of Brock Jessup, all the way back into Mark Craig. Craig being watched by Taylor Murray, up to Barry. Barry over to Powell. Now walking right in is Cameron in his shot. He's high and over the net. Back to Taylor Kyle. Kyle, long stretch pass. Broken up by Byrne. Byrne with Barry. Here's Byrne working his way in. A shot right on Kazoo. Made the save. The rebound. And they're in behind. Chip back to Whittefield. Here's Whittefield. Keeps it in the zone. Now Tyler Murray has it. Chips it out. Whittefield had it. And now it's blown down by linesman McCarthy. 143 to go here in the second. The Arrows lead the Islanders by a score of 3-1. to one. So the face off will come outside the Islander blue line. Tyler Murray there against Pat Cameron. And now that goes up and hits one of the girders. The arrows out shooting the Islanders 18 to 16 in the opening period, but fortuitous and capitalize on two huge giveaways in the Islanders zone. First it was Powell, then it was Lacroix, both unassisted. Oh, here's a gift horse in the mouth by Byrne, and his shot goes off of goaltender Kazuba. Kazuba just getting a piece, but once again, the Nile opened right up. A wide open opportunity for the Arrows to extend this lead. So the face off will come to the left of Kazuba. And Pat Cameron wins the draw, but it comes out of the zone. Now it's a foot race between Craig and Chris Smith. Craig got there first. Here's Empey against Tyler Murray. As we approach one minute to go here in the second period, here's Daniel Monk, and he just fires it into one of the banners. And now we have Barry and Monk mixing it up. And we'll see what referee Brown decides on this it appears that linesman McCarthy is going to escort escort both over to the sin bin this all occurs with 108 to go here in the second period and the face off will come outside the Islander blue line 3-1 arrows they've never trailed in this one the Islanders did tie it up and a goal by Tyler Murray before Lacroix and McKinney have given the Arrows a 3-1 lead. Here's Tyler Murray under a minute to go here in the second. Bounces down just wide of Mixick. Two of the Islanders there. Picked up by Chris Smith. He turns around and fires that shot. It goes wide. Big John Harris in front of the net. Picked off by Lacroix. Lacroix knocked down. Back in the long two, Whittefield. Whittefield fights off Harris. And kept in the zone. Here's the shot. It deflects off Harris. Right to the doorstep of Errol's goaltender, Mick Sick, with just 29 ticks to go here in the second period. And referee Brown, we'll see. It appears he's getting busy here in the last minute or so. It's going to be a high-sticking penalty here. I believe going to the Arrows. So the Gananoque Islanders are going to finish the second period with a half minute of power play time and carry another minute and a half into start period number three. So just with the doctor ordered for the Islanders, trailing it by two. Face off will come to the left of Mixick. Wyatt Cota will take the face off against Pat Cameron. Cota wins it. Taylor Kyle. Briar Hill on the back end and the Arrows penalty killing unit fires it down the ice to Taylor Kyle 15 seconds to go Wyatt Coda inside the Arrows blue line cross ice intended for number 19 Phil Smith puck comes all the way at the Briar Hill three seconds Hill's long shot Mixick 
deflects that up and out of play, but we're going to have one more drop of the puck here in period number two. Islanders will start the third with a minute and a half of power play time. And Tom Dixon elects to pull goaltender Kazuba here to win the draw. Since there's not enough time for the Arrows to ice the puck. And off the faceoff, they try it. There goes the buzzer. Two and period number two. We have the 22s coming together, Brock, Jessup, and Empey. But that's it, 40 minutes in the books here in game one in the best of seven Rito St. Lawrence semifinals. And here at center, 76, it's been the Arrows all along through 40. They lead the Islanders by a score of 3-1. to one. The only goal of the period, a power play goal from McKenney, his fifth goal of the playoffs and seventh point. Moulton and Stewart draw assists at 5-25. We'll be back with period number three here from center 76. Well, we are back here at center 76 for third period action here in game one. The Dorito Division. Final between the Islanders and the Arrows. So far, it's been all Arrows. They lead this one by a score of 3-1. to one. one goal in that second period. McKenney, a power play goal, is fifth of the playoffs. The seventh point, Moulton and Stewart drew assists. Gannon Ockley outshot the Arrows 13-11 to 11 in that second period. For a two-period total of 29 each. But it's been unassisted goals by the Arrows. Powell, Lacroix his fourth, and then McKenney his fifth. Tyler Murray, his fourth, has replied, and 11th point has replied for the Islanders. So here's Chris Smith coming on the left side, right in on Mixick. And the Islanders start this third period on the power play. It's Wyatt Coda. Back to Chris Smith. His shot. Mixick made the save. The rebound. Just rolls wide. Tyler Murray almost having his second. Now bounces to Wyatt Coda. Coda back to Kyle. Here's Wyatt Coda working his way. Burn up high on him. Puck down low for Harris to Tyler Murray. Over to Wyatt Coda. 45 seconds remains in the power play. Shot right on the rebound. Lays right there and the shot again. Another one. And Mixick. Harris in the crease. Mixick all over the place. And what a job by Eric Mixick. So some acrobatics from Eric Mixick in the Arrows net. Preserves this 3-1 Arrows lead. 38 seconds remains in the Islander power play. And the Rito St. Lawrence scoring champion, Wyatt Cota. Good Tyler Murray on his right. Big John Harris on his left. Taylor Kyle and Chris Smith moves to the back end on this Islander power play. And they desperately need one. Trailing it by two here in game one. Game two, Wednesday night in Gananoque. Game time will be 8-15 back here Friday night for game three. Here's Chris Smith. Goes off camera to burn, and camera gets it back. And here goes Mark Craig inside the blue line. He's shot right on, and Kazuba is forced to make a save. And more importantly for the Arrows, they're going to get a faceoff in the Islander zone with just 24 seconds remaining in the Islander power play. So McKenney wins the draw cleanly. Just what you need on the PK in it. Lacroix to McKenney. And McKenney, surrounded by three black sweaters, is able to get it in deep. Here's Daniel Monk in behind Kazuba. They're going to get one more shot out at the Islanders. And maybe not as Whittefield fires that. Aaron pass right back into the Islanders zone. And we're now back to five on five. Here's Harris. Harris dishes off. Coming down the left side, here's Smith, and a wicked low shot goes wide and all the way down into the Islander zone. Monk, a no-look pass, goes right to Daniel Lacroix, and the, say, the rebound lays right there, the shot goes wide, another one, they score! Again, a bad playing in the Islander zone, and the Arrows make them pay. So 
So just as the arrows kill the penalty to make matters worse for the Islanders, they score. But it all started from an erroneous no-look pass. Now it's Mixic. Right on. It's right up front and just couldn't reach that. Was the Islanders up fifth, number 15, Graham Moore. So McKenney gets his second of the hockey game. Sixth of the playoffs. Lacroix draws an assist at 153. The Arrows lead, leading it comfortably here in game one. Four to one, 17-14 to go here in period number three. And for the most part with shots even in the game, it has been turnovers in the Gananoque zone that the Arrows have capitalized on. So McKenney with a pair, Lacroix and Powell with the singles for the Arrows. Tyler Murray has replied for the Islanders. Here's Briar Hill taking the Coda pass, but there's going to be a penalty. Brown indicates a slashing infraction behind the play. And it appears to be going to the Arrows. Going to be Drew Powell heading to the penalty box for slashing the Islanders to the power play. The needing one bad. Cameron wins another big faceoff against Coda. Now Byrne against Kyle. Craig to Byrne, and he fires it down in to the Islanders' zone. Daniel Monk to Wyatt Coda, drops it for Monk. It gets away from him and scooped up by Pat Cameron. That kind of sums up the evening for the Islanders. Kazuba stops it there for Kyle. Fired in by Monk. Mixick stops it, fires along the boards. Monk does a good job to keep it in temporarily. Now the puck rolls back into the Islanders' zone to Wyatt Coda. Coda to Chris Smith. Here's Smith in over the blue line, but the Islanders are offside, and then Smith's shot is just a little later than what the Arrows would prefer and draws the crowd. The 108 remains in the Islander power play. They need one desperately. Game two back in Gananoque on Wednesday, and we will return to center 76 Friday night, March the 8th for game three. Here in this Rito St. Lawrence best of seven semifinal. Here's Mixick. Plays it off his skate. Puck goes along the boards for Lacroix, and a nice effort from Daniel Lacroix spread out. They get the puck back into the Islander zone. Under a minute remains in the Islander power play. Cross ice pass to Tyler Murray, their, their goal scorer. Here's Murray trying to get around Empey. Goes behind the net. Here's Murray intercepted by Levesque and he fires it off the stick of Islanders Graham Moore and into the Arrows bench. 34 seconds to go in the Islander power play. So Cameron to take the face off against Murray. Murray wins it, but it's gobbled up by Mike Byrne and he fires it right back into the Islanders zone. Graham Moore, number 15. And turned over once again and some good penalty killing as Byrne puts it right into Kazuba. 
The Islanders may get one more shot at this, and maybe not now. It rolls off Smith's stick. Michael Byrne just content with killing the rest of this Islander power play, and he does so successfully. Another big kill by the Arrows, and Byrne, what an effective job. Back to the point. There's a shot, and McLean didn't get all of that one. Intercepted. Here come the lead pass. They just couldn't get it to Chris Smith. And now Barry turns around and fires it back into the outer zone and forces Kazuba into a stoppage. 14.35 to go in the third. Game one. It's the Arrows for the Islanders. One. Rolls to Dylan Black. Bill Black being worked over by Curtis Cohane. Here's Lucas Stick getting away from GP Augenstein. But Harding in the back in his own zone. Chipped by Black. And Taylor Kyle just puts it back in. A little back and forth here. Now Cohane puts it in deep behind Kazuba. Langfield, now away comes Dylan Block in over the line. Lucas Stutt, Stitt hustling in there, but Mixick won't take any chances and reaches out and grabs that. Really in the playoffs in the Rito Division thus far in the Tiki Series and in the Islander Westport Series, home ice has meant very, very little. However, the Arrows, after securing it resiliently at the end of the regular schedule with two big wins, especially they come from behind win against the Ritos, are using it to their advantage. Of course, winning the game seven against the Tiki's and off to, so far, a good start here in game one of the semis. Highly puts it back into Kazuba. And with McKinney right there, Kazuba. McKinney already with a pair. No chance. Chances for him from Kazuba. Here's Aerosmith. Aerosmith dropping it. There's a shot and no problem for Mixick off the Islanders. Nathan Keller. Keller wearing sweater 21 as opposed to his normal 11. Thirteen, thirteen. Coda loses the faceoff to Levesque. Empey. Chips it along the boards, away from Whittefield. Kept in the line by Taylor Kyle, blocked by Whittefield. Turned over to Coda. Here's Wyatt Coda working his way in, a shot right on. Mixick the save! Hit a rolls right across the crease. Into the corner. Back to Stitt, lining up, shooting, and snaring that is Mixick as Whittefield looks a little sore after that exchange in the arrow zone. So Wyatt Coder to take the raw again. He's got Brock Jessup on his left. Kyle and Monk on the back end for the Islanders. Stitt and that is flipped up and out of play. Elsewhere this evening in the St. Lawrence Division, they, their final begins this evening. Akwesasne Wolves traveling to Castleman to play the Vikings. Game two in that series will be in Akwesasne on Tuesday. McLean along the boards, intercepted by Taylor Kyle, gets it out in front on that, back to the point. Kept in by Monk. Over into the corner goes Brock Jessup. Behind the net. Turning around Craig to Barry. Now Barry gets it out of the zone. Firing it back was Monk, hit his own player. Now Lucas Stitt's going to try it again. That hits McLean. He'll gather it up. 
Fires it along the dasher to Barry. Barry's cross ice for Byrne. Good hand-eye coordination by Byrne, but it's scooped up by Taylor Kyle. Up ahead. Here's Chris Smith. Now Smith in over the line, walking down the left side. His shot, and he didn't get it all. The rebound, and it was there. But Barry, that's just a saucer into Taylor Kyle. Over for Monk. So we see an, ex an illustration of Chris Smith's speed coming down the left side, but the Arrows have contained him for the most part this evening. Puck back into the Arrows zone to Empey. Cross ice to Cameron Stewart. Bounces into Kazuba, and he'll hold on. 11.35 to go in the third. The Arrows with a commanding 4-1 lead over the Islanders. Off the faceoff, Empey's shot, and Kazuba deflects that out of play. So Tyler Murray against Greg Harding in the arrows. Harding wins the draw. Back to Empey. It goes off Murray. There's Cohane. Back to Harding. Harris there, scooped up by Graham Moore. He bounces one back into the arrow zone. Gibson, away from Cohane, right to Harding. Big Harris knocks down Harding just inside the arrow's blue line. And there's going to be a penalty to the Islanders. Cohane hustling in against Kazuba. And as Kazuba touches it, it's going to be a hook to John Harris of the Islanders. And the Arrows, for the first time in a while, are heading to the power play. They've got one in this hockey game. McKenney's first of two. McKenney with a pair. Powell and Lacroix with the single markers for the Arrows. Tyler Murray has played, replied for the Islanders. Here's Pat Cameron. Just gets inside the zone. Puck rolls to Lacroix. Lacroix composed, gets it back to Whittefield. Puck just kind of bounces around on Whittefield. He couldn't get it to sit down. And the faceoff is going to come all the way down in the arrow zone. Well, another solid night by Eric Mixick in the arrow's goal. Cameron to take the face off, but it is won by Phil Smith. Smith still battling there. Knocked down by Moulton. And here's Cameron. Pat Cameron inside the Islander zone. It gets it ahead. There's a backhanded by Moulton. Lacroix. Back to McLean. The shot deflects. Kazuba makes a save, and it rolls wide. And the defenseman for the Islanders, Monks, saved one there. Arrows setting things up. Shot over top of Kazuba. Unable to keep it in was Alex McLean back to Whittefield. Islanders changing up the PK unit. Whittefield shot is wide at Kazuba. Taylor Kyle in between the two arrows turns around and fires it down the length of the ice with 52 seconds remaining in the arrows power play. 9.42 in the third. 4-1 arrows. Whittefield Cross his own blue line. Darts to center. Over to McKenney. McKenney right at the Islander blue line. It comes right back to McKenney. Kenny battling in there against McKellar. Back to the point. And here's a rank for Chris Smith. Smith going right in on goal. Smith going in and shooting. Oh, what a save. As he staggered that pad, Mexic on the deadly Smith. And that is just about the way it's gone for the Islanders this evening. And another solid performance by Eric Mixick. Inside the line, here's Byrne. His shot goes up and out of play, but what a short-handed opportunity for the Islanders and the Rito Division scoring leader, Chris Smith, all alone on Mixick. And try to go short side, but shut down. 
by Eric Mixick. Three seconds remains in the Levesque against Coda. Puck will be back, stepping into it is Empey, his shot. Moulton standing right there, out in front of the net. Levesque couldn't reach it. Yeah, some good hustle there by the arrows. Moulton and the Islanders fire it down the ice. Has it got enough to curl its way down? And yes, it does. We're back to five on five. 8.34 to go in the third. Four, one arrows. So Cameron wins the draw cleanly. Bounces over the stick of Craig, but he wheels around and backhands it to the right of Kazuba. Keller fired it, and that'll end up. We'll start do that one all over again. Cameron wins yet another faceoff. Here's Taylor Kyle. Kyle gets it ahead to Briar Hill. Hits Wyakota off his stick. And Craig rings around the boards for Barry. Barry gets it out of the zone. Lucas Stitt puts it right back in. Now Barry having some difficulty with it. Picked up by Brock Jessup. Jessup gets it in, forcing Mixick to play it. Well, on the boards, and Taylor Kyle unable to keep it in the zone. Goes off the skate of Jessup, back to Craig, over to Empey. Empey, Barry chips it as the Islanders are out of change, and now the Earls as well. Dylan Block rolls off a stick, Empey to Cohane. Cohane chips it in. Harding hustling in against Kyle. Now Cohane. Into Harding. Now Briar Hill being watched by Augustine. Lucas Stitt digs it out. Augustine and Harding battling there. Puck rolls behind Kazuba to Taylor Kyle. He backhands it to Dylan Black. Now Black will carry it outside the Islander line. Being watched by Augustine. Loses a handle. Whittafield just fires into the neutral zone. Harry Stitt trying to dart his way inside the arrow zone. Augustine was there. And finally chipped out of the zone by Cohane. Augustine fires it. Puck comes out here in the neutral zone to Moore. Moore fires in and over the head of Mixick. Getting there first is Cole Langfield. Cycling it in, it goes up in the air, knocked down by Langfield, scooped up by Whittefield, over to Ampy. Ampy carries it inside his own blue line, chips it ahead for Lacroix, intercepted by Graham Moore. Moore goes up, Whittefield takes care of his man there, now picks up the puck, and off goes the Islanders, number 18, Colin Brown. Whittefield fires it in, but he had not crossed the center stripe, and lines with McCarthy. Signals the icing. The faceoff will come back into the arrow zone with just 5.54 to go in the third. It's all arrows 4 to 1. Two by McKenney, one by Lacroix, and one by Powell. Two huge giveaways in the opening period. Here's Chris Smith. His shot and getting the stick on it was Mixick. The two huge giveaways in the Islanders zone. And the Islanders. Unfortunately, Arrows made them pay, both unassisted from Powell and Lacroix. The Islanders had tied things up back in period number one at 12:26 on Murray's goal, even at at one. But since that time, Lacroix, McKenney, and McKenney again his second. Here's Moulton. Referee's arm is up. Brown again. There's going to be another penalty. And it's going to go to the Islanders as Chris Smith touches it. So 5.26 to go in the third, up 4-1. to one. The Arrows are heading back to the power play. 
This is game one of the Rito St. Lawrence Division semifinals here from center 76. So McKenney to take the draw. He's got it. Emerson on his left. Back to Ampey. Over to Hiley. Back to Ampey. Cross ice. The one-timer by Craig. It lays right there on the doorstep. Kazuba down and out. And keeps it out. Now we've got a highly mixed up there with Keller at Kazuba's left. That's going to result in some more penalties. And it's highly in the box for the arrows. And, and that appears to be the only penalty. No, it's not. Keller in there as well. Face off will come. Yes, it is, excuse me. It is the only penalty in that altercation. It's highly off the face off, one by Coda. But it comes out to Taylor Kyle. To Coda for Smith. Stepping into that was Craig. Coda gets it to Smith, lining up his shot. And in rapier-like fashion, Eric Mixick shows the leather and holds on. So out of this four-on-four -four action, the Islanders are going to end up. Here's Taylor Kyle winding, shooting. And that missile, no problem for Mixick. The Islanders are going to end up with about 20 seconds of power play time. A solid performance this evening by the Arrows. And just the level of goaltending you need in playoff hockey by Mixick here this evening in game one. Coming in Kyle again, the shot and no problem for Mixick. Taylor Kyle in deep, fighting off Cameron. Back to the point to Monk. Once again, Mixick keeps that glove warm, holds on. Cameron wins yet another face off the veteran. Tough year for Cameron, an injury riddled year. Now, Here's Lacroix streaking towards the middle is Empy Kazuba down and out. And away come the Islanders, the Speedy Smith inside the blue line. Cameron comes back to play a little D. And Smith finally loses control. And now he's feeling something. He heads to the Islander bench. Here's Lacroix weaving his way to center. Yeah, he'll just dump it into Kazuba. And Kazuba. We'll force a face off in the Islander zone. We're down to 349 to go here in the third in game one. It's all arrows. They lead it four to one. McKenney with a pair, Powell, and Lacroix with the singles. Levesque wins a draw cleanly. Byrne gets a shot away. Kazuba makes a save. Scooped up by Phil Smith. Ahead to Aerosmith. Now he spins. Comes inside his own zone, being hounded by Levesque. Now carries it inside the Earl's blue line. It's around Whittefield. Michael Byrne beats him there. It's Levesque now with the Earl's. He'll just saucer it to center. Graham Moore gets away from Phil Smith. Earl Smith couldn't get it. And Byrne fires it all the way back into the Islander zone. Here's Brett Aerosmith. Carrying it outside his own blue line. Now here's Moore against Whittefield. Whittefield now backhands it right up the middle. Off Emerson's stick. Aerosmith gets it back up to Moore. Now Moore just selects to get it in deep. Back for the Arrows. Firing it but not out. Kept in by Moore. Getting a shot right on and Mixick made the save. And a relatively harmless looking shot by Smith. But it was an opportunity. There's a rebound. 
from Mixick. McLean plays it off the boards. Kept in. Nice job by Keller. Dropped. Briar Hill trying to get a shot away. McKenney was there. Along with Drew Powell. Now the Islanders fired inside the zone. We're down to 222. Going to third here in game one. Moore plays it off the boards to Briar Hill. Hill inside the Arrows blue line, but it deflects off. Craig stick in up and out of play. So Wyatt Coda to take the face off against Harold's captain, Pat Cameron. Coda wins the draw cleanly. Winding, here's Stitt. His shot is wide, trying to catch up with it, but to no avail. The number 41, R River Hot. Now here's Chris Smith. Feathers one ahead to Hill. Hill, mix it, comes out to play it, and fires it all the way down the ice. McCarthy. Waves off the icy. Barry knocks down Hutt. Here's Smith. Gets away from Barry. Gets it up to River Hutt. But the Islanders are offside with 135 to go in the third. Game two in this best of seven Rito St. Lawrence semifinal. And Rito final goes in Gananoque on Wednesday. Game three. Back here at center, 76 on Friday. The St. Lawrence Division Final also going on this evening. The Aquasasne Wolves in Castleman playing the Vikings. Here's Tyler Murray. Couldn't get there in time as Impey just backhanded that up and out of play. Face off will come to mix six right. And a solid evening in the goal for... Harold's goaltender, Mixick, only beaten the once. And he made two, two saves on the play before Tyler Murray went upstairs. And that tied things at one way back in period number one at 12.26. Since then, it's been all Arrows. Off the faceoff, Coda and Levesque. Murray to Monk, comes outside the zone, back to Coda. The Islanders have pulled the goaltender. The sixth attacker is on. Here's Taylor Kyle. Under a minute to go in the third. His shot goes off of Empey and out of play. So the face off to the left of Mixick. Off the draw, one by McKenney. Here's Monk shooting, deflected, the save by Mixick. Another one, and Smith shot ends up going up and out of play. And once again, number seven of the arrows, highly driving, drawing some attention. And Collie's troops, he'll take McKinney Lacroix in highly off. Levesque to take the face off. Coda wins it cleanly. Back to Taylor Kaya, winding, shooting right on. And no problem, square to the puck was Eric Mixick. The Arrows win the faceoff. Big John Harris hustles it there, gets it out in front of the net, scooped up by Moulton, trying to fight off Smith. Smith comes up with a puck for the Islanders. His shot is blocked. Monk slashes one in there to Coda in tight. Takes one, two cracks at it. But once again, 
Mixig has the answer for the Islanders. And we're down to 24 ticks to go here in game one. Brown taking a face off there against Levesque. The Arrows get it out to center, chipped up. Here's Moulton and Monk battling. And then it goes into the corner to Taylor Kyle. There's going to be another Islander penalty here. It's going to be a hook as Mixick was vacating the premises. 13 seconds to go, and referee Brown indicates the hook as Emerson Moulton was looking straight. At the empty net, and off goes Daniel Monk of the Islanders. The faceoff will come to Kazuba's left. We well, also confusion on the Islander bench. It's just kind of the way things have gone the, this evening here. Levesque won the face off, Islanders come up with it now, Levesque regains it puts it back into the zone, the Arrows tag up, five seconds, four seconds, there's the long shot down into the Arrows zone, and there goes the siren to end game one, so the Athens Arrows have taken a one game to nothing lead in this Rito St. Lawrence Division semifinals and Rito final, they defeat the visiting Gananoque Islanders by a score of 4-1. to one. A pair of goals from McKenney, one a power play goal. Powell and Lacroix with the singles. Tyler Murray replied for the Islanders. A solid performance by Eric Mixick. So the Arrows are up one to nothing, And we bid you good evening from center 76.